Okay, welcome to circuits number two. First exercise is going to be a balance lunge. We're going to stand on the left leg first and the right leg is going to come back. So that's going to be mid length. You're going to be standing facing the anchor point. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Like I say, standing on the left leg only and the right leg is going to go back with these. Next up is going to be a T-Rex chest press. That's going to be fully lengthened. Stand facing away from the anchor point. Nice, long, strong plank position on that. You're going to bend the elbows and the hips and chest are going to move forward as one. So circuits, remember, it's going to be 40 seconds worth of work, 20 seconds breather, and you're going to go around twice. So there's 15 like different exercises you're going to go through. Some are going to be one side and then some are going to be the other side. Don't worry, you're not going to go lopsided. Next exercise is a hamstring curl. That's going to be mid-calf length. You're going to be down on the ground. Heels in. You're going to draw the knees in towards the chest and then extend those legs out, forcefully driving into the rubber handles. Next up is a high row. The high row is fully shortened. Standing face at the anchor point. Elbows are going to start nice and high, keeping the chin up off the chest and the body long and strong. Then from there, you're going to lower on down, let the arms naturally lengthen, and then you'll row yourself back up and in. Nice squeeze between the shoulder blades on that one. Next up is star jumps. Landing nice and light with these. Feet are going to go out to the side as the arms sweep up and over. Try and get the hands to meet up and over your head with these. And then sweeping them back down to the sides. Nice range of movement through the shoulders. Should you have any impact issues that this gives you grief, then just step out to the left and the right. Then obviously we've done the balance lunge off one side. So we were stood on your left leg on the first exercise. So we've got to hit the right side. So you'll be standing on the right leg and you'll be doing a balance lunge. So the balance lunge is as the leg steps back, you're performing that lunge, but the back leg is just going to hang in midair. It's just going to balance. Okay, if you struggle with that, then don't be afraid to tap the toe down just to regain your stability. Next up after those is the Y row. The Y row is going to be mid-length, standing facing your anchor point, arms up in a nice high Y position. You're going to slowly relax on back, the hands will come together, and then you're going to rip those handles open to come on up. Next up after those is the hip press. Well, the hip press is going to be mid-calf length, ground facing the anchor point. You're going to draw the knees in. Get your thighs nice and vertical. Then from there, you're going to drive your hips up to the ceiling. Squeezing your bum cheeks at the top. Then slowly lower your hips back on down. After those hip press, it is the bicep curl. So the bicep curl is going to be mid-length. Standing face in the anchor point. You're going to have the fists up by the temples. Then from there, you're going to slowly relax back and down. Let the arms naturally lengthen on the way down. And then you'll bicep curl back up and in on those. Next up after those, we've got a bit of a cardio drill, which is the mountain climbers, a.k.a. alternating squat thrusts. So good, strong push-up position, and you're going to cycle those legs through, drawing the knees in and out. Should this give you any grief on the wrists or anything, then feel free to come on up and just jog on the spot. It's going to be the same drill and the same movement with the knees coming up nice and high with those. Next up is an abducted lunge. So we're going to stand on your left leg. We're going to pop your right foot in. And there, to pop your right foot in, it's going to be mid-calf length. And you're going to side kick out to the right. Now, should you have any problems with this, you can take it to mid-length, hold the handles, and just side step out to your left instead. Next up after those, if you need to regress it, it can be another set of chest press. Progressing it up to a full body push-up on the ground. Or, as you can see in the demo here, we can go... Uh, push-ups with your feet in so that's going to be mid calf length you're going to be on the ground facing away lock a strong plank in and perform those push-ups next up after that well we've got to hit the abducted lunges off the opposite side so smooth and steady on these taking the leg out to the side so this time we're going to be standing on the right leg and the left foot's going to go in or we'll side kick out to the left And after the abducted lunges, it is that gnarly preacher curl. So that's going to be mid-calf length, ground facing away from the anchor point, hands on the handles. From here, you're going to bend the elbows. Body's going to come into it. Elbows are going to drop forward and down into the ground. The only way back up is for you to physically press down on those handles, extending those arms out. And we're finishing strong with some corner touch. So we're just stepping left and right, or shuffling left and right, touching down. So as you can see here, the frame, if I had an imaginary corner, I'm just going to tap down, move left, and then move right. We've got 20 seconds to coming up to set yourself up. 
All right, so first 20 seconds, it's going to be these balance lunge. It's going to be mid-length. Stand facing your anchor point. Start with your elbows underneath your shoulders. You're going to stay on the left leg and the left leg only. You've got eight seconds. Right leg is going to come back. If you need to tap the right foot down for stability, feel free to do so. All right, and away you go. So the first one is your balance lunge, standing on the left leg, right leg coming back. Take your time with this. Keep the torso nice and tall. All right, halfway through on this. If you've got a big um, logo on your T-shirt, imagine I'm stood in front of you, I should be able to see that logo on your T-shirt. So keep that torso nice and tall. Keep that lead knee over the lead ankle. If you see it starting to track back, then just adjust your foot in is all. Almost there on this one, and relax. We're into your chest press up next, so the chest press is going to be fully lengthened. Okay, so chest press, fully lengthened, stand facing away from your anchor point. Start in that nice, long, strong plank position. You're going to bend the elbows and the hips and chest are going to move forward as one. Two seconds, one second, and away you go for your TRX chest press. Cool from there. Nice and smooth and steady. Keep the body long and strong. Don't be sticking that bum back and breaking at the hips. So your ears, your shoulders, your hips, your knees, they're all moving as one. Now remember, you can move the feet forwards to make it a little bit easier or move, the, move those feet backwards to make it a little bit harder. You've got five more seconds. And relax there. Outstanding. Get ready for your hamstring curls. The hamstring curls are going to be mid-calf length. Ground facing the anchor point. Pop your heels in. Okay, you're going to draw the knees in and then extend those legs out smooth and steady. Three seconds on this. And away you go. So smooth and steady. Hamstring curls. you want to make this more difficult, you can uh, lift the hips if you want to. If not, one way to adjust it is to place your arms. You can see in the demo I've got my arms out to the side. Well, I can bring those arms in, put the hands across the chest. Or I can place the hands together, push the fingertips up into the ceiling. That will make the base of support smaller, which will make this more difficult. Six seconds left on this. Going into your high rows up next. And relax there. Well done. So your high rows, they're going to be mid-length, standing facing your anchor point. Going to draw the elbows up nice and high with this. So we've got fully shortened, stand facing the anchor point. You're going to slowly relax on back. Here we go. So making sure the elbows stay nice and high throughout. That body's locked in again. Strong plank position from forehead to feet get like concrete you know the drill all right halfway through on these high rows adjust the feet if you need to walking forwards or backwards to keep that tension on no stopping now we don't want any stopping you got this come on all right seven seconds left on these high rows Next up, it will be a cardio drill. It'll be the star jumps. And relax. All right, it's the star jumps. So landing light with ease. Big arm sweep. Feet exploding out to the side. And away you go. 40 seconds and 40 seconds only. Nice, solid, explosive star jumps. If it gives you any pain, any impact issues, just step out to the left, reset, step out to the right, reset. Okay, 10 seconds left. If you can pick that pace up just that little bit more for these last 10 seconds, that would be awesome. Going to be back into the balance lunges up after this. 
And relax. Well done. Have a well-earned 20 seconds breather. And get yourself ready for your balance lunges. So now we're going to stand on the right leg and the right leg only. Okay, so you nailed the left last time. Now we're going to hit this right leg. So, mid-length, stand facing the anchor point. Start with the elbows underneath the shoulders, chin up off chest. All right, now slowly move on back. Left leg coming back. And then drive on up through that right foot. You can use those hands to kind of row yourself up as well if you need to. Now remember, you don't really want to be pulling yourself up through the handles with this. They're just there for balance and guidance. Drive your right foot through the floor. Think about squeezing your right bum cheek as you come on up as well to extend that hip. 10 seconds. All right, we're going to be going into your Y rows after this and relax. So from where you are now, Y rows, they're going to be mid-length. Stand facing the anchor point. Get those arms as far away from you as you can. Or those fists, I should say. Now those arms are going to stay locked long. No bending in the elbows now. Get them out to that nice high Y to start. All right, here we go. Slowly relax on back for me. Let the hands naturally come together. And then under control, slowly rip those handles back apart, back up into that nice high Y. Keep the hips nice and thick, so get those ass cheeks squeezed. Drive the knuckles into the wall behind you or wherever you are. If you're outside, make sure you push those knuckles behind. Last couple of seconds on this one and relax. Well done. Right, it's the hip press. So for the hip press, take your suspension trainer to mid-calf length. Ground facing the anchor point. Pop your heels in. Now draw your knees in so your thighs go vertical. Then from there, you're going to drive your hips up towards the ceiling. And then come on down from there. All right, and away you go. Smooth and steady with ease. Make sure you reset to your thighs being vertical all over again. What you don't want to do is start with the thighs vertical, push up, and let the legs naturally extend out before you lower the hips. If this gives you any grief, if you're really struggling with this in the hamstrings or anything, then take your feet out of the cradles and do it with your heels on the ground. Almost there on this one, and relax. Well done. Bicep curls is up next. So mid calf length with your mid calf length, mid length with your suspension trainer. Stand facing your anchor point. Start with those fists up by your temples. You're gonna slowly relax on back, letting the arms naturally lengthen, and then you're gonna curl those fists back up and in. All right, and away you go. So smooth and steady. Relax on back, let the arms lengthen, and then curl those fists back up and in. Bring the fists up to the temples. Again, no movement through any other part of the body, as in no movement through the hip or the knee. Keep yourself nice and straight, solid. Okay, 10 seconds left on these bicep curls. We're going to be lightening up with a bit of a cardio drill, the alternating squat thrust coming up next. And relax, well done. All right, get yourself ready. Alternating squat thrust. So come down, lock in a nice, strong push-up position. And we're going to cycle those legs in and out, alternating the knees as they come on in. Try and get those knees to kind of hip height. Away you go. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Alternating squat thrusts. If this gives you any grief on the wrist or you struggle with this, just come on up and start jogging on the spot for me. But otherwise, let's go. Make sure you don't hunch up. So let's keep those shoulders as far away from your ears as you can as you build this pace up. So far, so good on these. I'm sure you'll start picking it up because we're into single figures now. Next up after these is going to be the uh, abducted lunges. And relax, well done. So, 
Bring yourself up and out. Take your suspension trainer to mid-calf length. I want you to stand on your left leg and place your right leg in. You can imagine there's a pane of glass in front of you and a pane of glass behind you. You now have to kick out to the side, to your right-hand side. Do not touch those panes of glass. Ready? And away you go. If you struggle with the balance with this, feel free to get a broom or a mop and hold on to that for a bit of extra balance. Unless you've got a wall close by. If you struggle with this, you can always take it to mid-length. Hold the handles. Start with the elbows underneath the shoulders and side step out to your left. All right, 15 seconds left on this. Last three, two, one, and relax. Outstanding. It's push ups next. So get yourself ready. Mid calf length, ground facing away, strong push up position. Going to bend those elbows and the hips and chest are going to move forward as one. If you need to regress this, take it to a normal full body push up. If you need to regress it again, no problems. Take it to a TRX chest press. And away you go. 40 seconds and 40 seconds only of this TRX push up. All right, 25 seconds left already. Absolutely flying through these today. Happy days. Keep the torso taut and tight. Don't let it break down. No sticking the bum up and certainly no saggy in the center. And relax there. Well done. Brilliant. All right, you're back into the abducted lunge. This time now, we're going to stand on the right leg and pop your left foot in. Stand on the right, left foot going in. Still at mid-calf, ready from your, uh, from your previous push-ups. Three more seconds. If you're going to hold it, then sidestep out to your right this time. All right, away you go. Dial it in. Think you're keeping that spine in line throughout. And only go as low as you can comfortably get back up from, right? Okay, 10 seconds left on this one. And relax there, well done. Preacher curls, well... They're going to be mid-calf length, ground facing the anchor point. Uh, sorry, ground facing away, I should say. So you're going to be on the knees, grab the handles. Now, to make this easier, move further forwards. The further you move forwards, the easier this is going to get. The more out under the anchor point, the harder it's going to be. Right, let's go. So what I want you to do, grab those handles, bend the elbows. Let your hips and chest come forward as one. Slot your head in between your hands. Now, the only way back up is to crush those handles down, extend those arms out, and give them a bit of a squeeze. Each and every time, make sure your elbows are pointing down and they're dropping into the ground. Ten seconds. All right, last five. And relax there, outstanding. Right, corner touch, here we go. So if you've got the space, you're going to shimmy to the left, touch down into the corner, shimmy to the right, touch down into the corner. Doesn't necessarily depend how big your room is, unless it's like a 400 metre <laughs> wide room. All right, get ready, and away you go. You can just imagine a couple of corners that you need to touch down into. So keep the feet. Uh, they shimmy across. What they do, you don't cross the legs over. And you certainly don't stand on your own toes. You don't want to trip yourself up. 40 seconds and 40 seconds only. Let's go. Keep light on the feet. Keep low. So keep the breathing nice and relaxed. Last 10 seconds. Single figures on this. Back into those balanced lunges, standing on your left leg. 
And relax. Outstanding. All right, here we go. Setting yourself up. Balance lunge. Left foot down. So we're going to go mid-length. Stand facing. Elbows under the shoulders to start. Get ramrod straight. Standing on your left leg. We're going to step back with the right. All right, and away you go. 40 seconds. Smooth and steady. Take your time. A little bit more tired now. This is round two of two. Okay, 15 seconds left. I hope you're letting those arms lengthen. Don't be keeping the elbows bent because that will bring your chest forwards. And relax there. Well done. All right. Chest press. So T-Rex chest press. Fully lengthen. Turn and face away from that anchor point. Lock that plank position in. Think of yourself as like a surfboard. So you're long and strong. And your arms are just like a, um, a, a stand. Okay. So surfboard's got a kickstand on it. And you're leaning up against the wall. Then you're going to remove that kickstand by your elbows. Bending and your hips and chest are coming forwards. Let's go. Sorry, I didn't even know. I hope you noticed that on the count. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the reps in there. Chatting away about surfboards and kickstands. All right. Already 20 seconds left. Halfway through. Okay. 10 seconds. All right. Last five. Next up, we'll get back into the back on the ground for those hamstring curls and relax. Right, hamstring curls, mid calf length, ground facing the anchor point, heels in. You're going to draw those knees in and extend those legs out. Get yourself ready. You only got five seconds. And away you go. Okay, 23 seconds left on this. Separating the feet is going to make it a little bit more difficult. I mentioned about the arms crossing the chest on round one. Well, separating the feet is going to make it a little bit more difficult. Last six seconds. High rows are up next. All right, and relax there. Outstanding. So high rows, they're going to be fully shortened. Stand facing your anchor point. Get those elbows up. All right. Get a nice pinch and cinch between the shoulder blades. Four seconds. All right. And away you go. So slowly relax on back. Let those arms lengthen. And then roll yourself back up from there. Nice squeeze between the shoulder blades. Great stuff. Looking solid on these. With your chin up off the chest, I'm sure. I'm sure you've got your ass cheeks squeezed. Breathing nice and relaxed. Ten seconds left on this. And relax. Great stuff. All right. Cardio drill time. Let's get it dialed in. Let's back into those star jumps. Hopefully you've got the room. You've got a very small room if you can't perform a push, uh, uh, a star jump in it. Mind you, you might be on the uh, the landing or the hallway of your house. All right, ready? And away you go. Give me 40 seconds. Almost said 30. 40 seconds of star jumps. Let's go. All right, you're halfway through. Keep the pace up. Next up after these, we're going to be back into your balance lunge, but off your right leg and your right leg only. Last couple of seconds. Come on. No let up. 
And relax. Well done. All right. Back onto the TRX. We got mid length. We got Stan facing the anchor point. Standing on that right leg and that right leg only. All right, and away you go. So we've got mid length, standing on the right leg, stand facing, we're coming back. Left leg is going to hover in the air. Keep that right knee over the right ankle. All right, last 10 seconds left on these. Going to be into your Y rows next. And relax, outstanding. Right, let's go into the Y rows. We can leave it at mid-length. It's already there, you see. So leave it at mid-length. Arms are coming up. Nice high Y position. Again, lock that surfboard position in. From head to heel, strong as steel. All right, now slowly under control, relax on back, let the arms come together naturally, and then tear those hands back open. I'm a huge fan of showing the control in the descent as you relax back and the hands coming together under control, and then under control, ripping the handles open. All right, 15 seconds left. Last 10. And relax there. Way to go. All right. Mid-calf length. So it's the hip press. Mid-calf length. Ground facing the anchor point. Heels in. Draw your knees in. Thighs nice and vertical. Okay, we're going to drive the hips up. Good squeeze at the top. Ready, and away you go. 40 seconds. Remember what I said on round one, though. If this gives you grief, take your feet out. Place your feet on the ground instead, and then drive up from there. All right, halfway. Last 20 seconds on this. Bicep curls will be up next. Five seconds left on this one. We are into bicep curls next. And relax. Well done. Ease yourself up and out. Take your suspension trainer to mid-length. Stand facing that anchor point. Fist up by the temples. Here we go. You got ten seconds for you. Lock and load these arms. Get yourself ready. And away you go. Now, with these, the smallest movement in the feet, whether that's forwards or backwards, can make the biggest of difference. So ease yourself into these bicep curls. Keep the elbows nice and high throughout. Keep that plank position locked in. No movement through the hips, remember. Don't be trying to initiate this with a cheeky little hip hip pop or hip thrust. And relax there. Well done. All right. Back into your mountain climbers, a.k.a. alternating squat thrust. Nail these. And you've five exercises left. Unbelievable. 25 exercises boxed off. Five left to pay in. Get yourself ready. And away you go. Let's get those feet moving. Breathing nice and relaxed. You still want a strong plank position running between your ear, your shoulder, and your hip as you rev up these legs for these mountain climbers. Drive the heels away from the head as well. All right, you've got seven more seconds. Come on, let's pick the pace up. Last few seconds. Get the legs pumping. 
And relax. Right, let's swap it out. We're back into that abducted lunge. We're going to go mid-calf length, standing on your left leg. Pop your right foot in. You're going to side kick out to the right. Or you're going to hold the handles. So it's going to go mid-length, hold the handles. And then from that position there, you're going to side kick out. All right, and away you go. Smooth and steady on these. Excellent. Last 20 seconds. Take your time. This is not only a balanced one. Yeah, it's a strength one, but it's a balanced one as well, obviously. Last 10 seconds. Press-ups are after these, preferably with the feet in, but totally understand if you can't. And relax there. Well done. So... Push-ups with your feet in, mid-calf length, ground facing away. Push your heels into the handles. Set yourself up, nice strong plank position. Pull the ears, pull the ears, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Right, let's go. 40 seconds and 40 seconds only. Push-ups. If it gets too much, take the feet out. If it gets too much, do a T-Rex chest press. And find your appropriate level on those. All right, last couple of reps. I want another two reps out of you. Come on. And relax. Right, we're back into that balance, or abducted lunge, I should say, abducted lunge. So let's go mid-calf length. <clears throat> should be there already from the uh, press-ups, obviously. So we're going to stand on the right leg, pop your left foot in. So stand on your right, pop your left foot in, and now you're going to side kick out to your left. Off you go. If, however, you're holding the handles at mid-length, side step out to your right. Remember, you've got a pane of glass in front of you and a pane of glass behind you. You've got to slide up and down in those panes of glass. So you'll have to side kick out to the side. And the torso and the body's got to move up and down between those panes of glass. We've only got two more drills after this. One of them is the preacher curl, and that's next. And relax, well done. Preacher curls are up next, so mid-calf length. Ground facing away from the anchor point. Place your hands on the handles. Remember, the further forward you move, it's going to make it easier. So the more upright your torso is to start, it's going to make it easier. Moving backwards is going to make it harder. So you're directly underneath. Ready? And away you go. Drop the elbows forward and down. Slot your head in between the handles. Crush the handles down, extending the arms. And give those triceps a nice squeeze. Twenty seconds left on this. These arms can start to burn pretty sharpish. You'll move the position in if you need to. And relax. Right, it's your last cardio drill. This is exercise 30 of 30. So you're going to shimmy left and right, shuffle left and right, touching down if you need to. All right, five seconds. Get yourself ready. Last 40 seconds, stand between you and the finish. Ready, go. Give me 40 seconds and 40 seconds only now. Shuffle left, touch down, shuffle right, touch down. Keep light on the feet. Stay low, move fast. Give it everything you can for these final 40 seconds. Of which you're pretty much halfway through. Ten seconds left. Just want to say thanks to you so much for jumping in, joining in this session. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon.